Hello everyone, uh, this is an artifact spotlight from the Clash of Empires exhibition. This is the iconic Zulu weapon that is most associated with the rise and fall of the Zulu kingdom. Uh, this is the famous stabbing spear. In Zulu it's called Iikwa and it was used for fighting at close quarters. Most spears, most people think you throw at somebody. Uh, not this thing, you, you kind of use it like a, a small sword and you rush down on your enemy with a shield and one of these, and you used it in an underarm moment to stab somebody. You'll notice it has quite a, a wide, broad blade there and a fairly short handle so that you can wield it quite easily. Uh, and it's called ear claw because it's the noise that it makes when you pull out of somebody's body. Supposedly, it was called that by the great King Shaka himself, who had a bit of a gallows sense of humour. And as you stab somebody and pull it out, it goes ear claw and he said, that's what we're going to call this spear. Uh, and this was the spear that the rise of the Zulu kingdom was dependent upon. And it's the weapon that they took into action against the British in 1879. This particular one was reputedly carried at the Battle of Isandlwana in January 1879. So you don't get anything much more iconic of the Zulu warrior culture than this. Mm -hmm.